Warzone is boring when you use the same weapons over and over again. Well, what if I told you there's a secret meta weapon that only 0.1% of the player base uses? And it has an average KD of 1.15 and the fifth highest win rate for any weapon in Warzone at 4%. Now that I got your curiosity, what weapon do you think it is? It is a long range weapon that has a super fast time to kill and high damage output. It is the DMR 2.0, the M1 Garand. Now before you call me crazy, let me sell you on this weapon with a few stats and a few clips before I give you its best class setup. The first time I used this M1 Garand, I knew it was going to be good. Just listen to my reaction. My broken are Oh my god! Woo! The, ram, baby. the fastest time to kill assault rifle in Warzone is the C58 at 868 milliseconds, but it does have some recoil to it, making it a little bit more difficult to use. Where the M1 Garand has fairly low recoil, and it has an 800 millisecond time to kill at all ranges. That is the same as the PKM or Bruin Light machine gun, but it isn't as slow with its mobility as those two. And if you hit just one headshot with the M1, it's gonna drop to an insane 600 millisecond time to kill at long range. Let me repeat that, it only takes one headshot. That is ridiculously easy to get that crazy of a time to kill. And on top of that, it takes five shots to knock someone without a headshot and only four with one. It is incredibly powerful with 72 damage per chest shot. And then you have 66 meters of range where it doesn't matter whether you're hitting chest shots or stomach shots, your time to kill will stay the same. Then at 67 meters and beyond, you're only gonna need to hit one chest shot to maintain your 800 millisecond time to kill, which is very easy to do. And on top of that, we're gonna have great bullet velocity at 1,414 meters per second making it easier to use at range because you don't have to lead your shots as much because the bullets aren't dropping off then like i said before the recoil is also very low then you pair this with the bullet velocity and it makes it deadly at mid to long range this is the ultimate gun to get opponents off of head coaches because they're going to be knocked before they can even react to what's happening now there are two downsides to this weapon with the mobility being in between an ar and a light machine gun so you're going to be a little slow but not terrible then the fire rate is only 300 rounds per minute, meaning you won't be able to spam your trigger finger, which does limit its upside up close, but you can definitely get away with it like I do in this clip right here. Nice. I think it was a good call. Push into here. Tsunami Kwami. And Tony 2020. Nice, nice job. Overall, I don't think this is as OP as the DMR was back on Verdansk, but it's still easily a meta weapon that you need to be using right now. If I was to classify this M1 Garand, it would be as a hybrid between the DMR and the bar with the BMG ammo. It has been super fun to use because it's so different from all the other meta weapons that people just keep using over and over again, like the UGM. If you guys are just finding out about how good the M1 Garand is, make sure to give this video to 50 likes and subscribe for more content like this, keeping you on top of the Warzone meta and maybe some weapons people aren't using quite as much. And let me give you the class setup already. So what we want to do with this M1 Garand is make the bullet velocity as high as possible while also also getting the recoil down and not making the ADS too awful. So what we do is we use this MX Silencer, Cooper Custom, and Lengthen. Those are all going to get the bullet velocity up. Then these first two also help with our recoil as well as this heavy foregrip. But what we want to do with the recoil is get down the initial fire recoil because you're shooting one bullet at a time. That means sustained fire is impossible. So therefore, you're just trying to get the initial fire recoil down so it kicks less on each bullet. So that's why we use stippled grip and this Chariot S3TC. This also helps us with flinch resistance, which will help us in the middle of gunfights when someone starts to shoot us. And then what do we do to help this ADS out? Well, we're going to use on hand instead of fully loaded because this does lower aim down sight speed by about 20 milliseconds. It's still going to be a little bit below average, but this helps it out a lot. Now I'm going to show you a few clips with this class setup to see how powerful this weapon is and how to use it. With this first clip, I'm on high ground and I'm taking out this team. The first guy I knock and cap, but when I knock the second one, I decide to push down towards them. On the side, he's running up like the little dry river shit. Got him, downed him, I'm pushing it. And then I get caught in a really awful spot when a different team rolls up on high ground and has me penned. But the M1 Garand was made to get you out of bad positions with massive damage per shot. Enemy UAV. Oh shit, he just threw a nade at me. I'm in the worst position ever. Up top, up top. Wow. 
I doubt it. Oh, let's go. And it's as easy as that. Next up, I'm stuck on low ground again with enemies just barely peeking their heads out of cover. But the M1 Garand was made for eliminating people off of headies. When you get one headshot, it only takes four shots to knock someone. And that's why I got those two people down so quickly. I downed one. Down two, down two, down two. As you're seeing this, M1 Garand is very powerful. And this last clip I found to be funny. Wow. Oh. 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 <laughs> I still ended up dying, though. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are going to go try this M1 Garand out right now. But check out this video on SMGs to see what to pair with it. Peace.